Hello everybody and welcome to another best game battles SD class setup video. This one is going to become my most updated 10 uh, most used class setups for uh, all the maps really. This is all the maps combined. You guys have been asking for me for this video in a while. I've done two other best class setup videos on game battles. In this one, I made a lot of changes and I think it's for the better. Uh, most definitely. So, first off, you can see my Remington. I do have a muzzle brake on. I've been trying to get used to that lately. It's been working out pretty well. I would suggest you do go with the muzzle brake, but again, foregrip is just uh, is fine as well. Whichever you prefer works out just as well. And if you notice, I normally run a nade right here. I have the same perks that I usually do, as you can see. I normally run a nade right here, except I don't have a nade, and I took that off and put a pistol on. And I think this is extremely helpful. I suggest you guys give it a try, and if you don't like it, you can go ahead and revert back to the nade. But I do prefer to use the P226 pistol with muzzle brake. And that basically just replaces the nade altogether, and just it allows you to sprint faster. So if you need to sprint to a certain spot, but primarily in a close engagement, like say let's say bomb room inside of Sovereign, you get into a gun engagement there, you're not going to want to challenge somebody with a Remington. So you just switch right to your pistol, and utilize this. And that's pretty much what I've been using it for. It's very very good, um, especially if you got a uh, scuff and you have trigger stops that helps you with the uh, shooting really fast. And if you got a good trigger finger, obviously it's going to work out really really well for you. And another pistol you can use also, if you don't like this pistol, you can also use the M9A1. I prefer the P226, but this one works out um, also. Uh, but really, all the other pistols really aren't that good, so I would suggest you only stick to these two pistols if you're going to be uh, choosing those. And that's just my default Remington class right there. Now we get into my default MTAR class, pretty basic. Just You know, you can see the perks. Uh, this one has a, uh, tap, a stun. And uh, Semtex in this one. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, as you can see at the title, it's singles and doubles. These are the class I use for singles and doubles. I don't use this for TL. This is singles and doubles. Just want to make that very clear. And then here I got. This is primary for singles. Is if if I get an enemy that stuns a lot, I just take off my uh, Semtex and stun, and I put on Tac resist so I don't get stunned that often. And he'll think I'm stunned a lot, so I'll have a pretty good advantage uh, when he gets in, when he does actually hit me with the stun because I'll be immune to it. And this one's my Bison class. It's the same as the MTAR and uh, uh, TAC resist class, except that I put steady aim on since it's a bison and you get in a lot of gunfights with this thing. And this thing does melt. I do put a, a steady aim on this gun and do not have a Semtex or stun. And this is my sub LMG class. It's a very new class, but it works out really, really well. And this is a M27 overkill with a bison. And I suggest you do the bison as your primary because. You're, you don't really need two attachments on the M27, to be honest. You really just need one attachment, and that's going to be thermal. Uh, Bison, preferably two, uh, preferably two perks or attachments. One works fine, but again, you don't need anything on the M27, so you don't, it doesn't really matter. So I have Bison with uh, muzzle brake and foregrip, as most people would. And then overkill, I have the M27 uh, with the thermal. And as you can see down here, I have overkill, obviously. Then I got my focus and dead silence, which is you need on every single class. Then I have ready up for helping me draw my gun faster, obviously, and then I have reflex, which allows you to swap weapons faster. So I'm allow I can swap uh, between my M27 and Bison faster. I'm still kind of testing out the reflex. I'm not sure if this is exactly worth it. I think it is at the moment, but I might switch over uh, to the uh, marathon if I do think that the uh, reflex isn't needed. I at the moment I think it it is needed, but that could also be switched out. And also, if you want, you could also take off ready up and you could take off reflex and put on quick draw instead. But this is my uh, personal, what I found the best so far. Then here I have my sub with two smokes. And it doesn't really matter what submachine gun you have. I put the MTAR on this one. I'll switch it off occasionally here and there. And this is basically how I'm going to be faking out people with smokes or if I'm going to be uh, crossing the map. And basically, this is mostly used on Octane or Warhawk, primarily Octane, when you like smoke the A cross and then you can go plant B. Or you can just cross A and go plant A. Uh, both works out. Uh, you know, I would suggest everybody has a double smoke class just in case. You know, it's always helpful to have one of these. And that's mine. Then I got this shotgun class. And this is a very, very good class I use on multiple maps, primarily Strike Zone. Um, strike Zone, I like to, on offense, I rush plant A with this class. And then I just sit out and I have double stuns and I have a Semtax. And basically what I do is I, I just look for somebody long range. I don't give them the chance to kill me long range because obviously I can't engage with them with a, a shotgun. So what I do is I, I try to lure them in, and once they, you know, I, I stun them far away, and like that'll obviously buy time while the bomb's down. And then once they push forward, you know, I can obviously get a shotgun kill on them. And I always utilize my stunts and nades. I, I think this class is really, really good. I would suggest you guys do try this class out. You don't need focus on it because it is a shotgun. Focus won't matter at all. 
Um, if anything, probably not having focus would be more beneficial on this class. And then I got reflex for checking my reflex on my special. It's just for checking my stuns faster and stuff. Um, and yeah, so this is my, another class I've been using lately, also on strike zone primarily. And it's my overkill Remington class with a shotgun secondary. And here you can see I have a typical Remington class. This it's the same exact class as the Remington right here, guys. Same exact class, except instead of quick draw, I just put overkill. And I think this class is really really helpful. Because basically what it does is it just allows me to do the same thing I would normally do with my regular Remington class, except just ADS slightly slower. And it gives me a huge advantage with uh, having the Bulldog as my secondary, because in any close and quarter engagements, I'm able to shoot him down with the Bulldog. And this is another class I like using a lot on uh, Strike Zone, because I like posting up by uh, B a lot on uh, defense, and if he does plant A, I'm able to push him with a shotgun. And this you can do this on other maps, such as Sovereign. You know, post up at one uh, one end of the map, and if he does plant on a close uh, on B bomb on Sovereign, you could obviously push him with a bulldog. That's what I have here. And here's my sniping class. I prefer to have two attachments on my snipers, guys. If you don't, it's perfectly fine. It works out either way. Uh, I, I I don't have a really a problem with not having four grip on my bison, so I just have that as my secondary, and I have a bison with just muzzle break on. You could also have a bison with just four grip if you prefer that. And my sniping class, I, I like to have variable zoom. I'm not sure why. Primarily because I don't like how much it zooms in. I'm I miss a lot of shots that way, and hit markers bug the shit out of me. So I like having Chrome Line to limit those as much as I possibly can because I'm not that good of a sniper. So when I am sniping, I don't want to be hit markering anybody because I'm not really too skilled in making sure I shoot them in the chest up. So I like having Chrome Line and variable zoom on, and occasionally I'll switch that off to a thermal. Sometimes not usually because I'm not a huge fan of the thermals with the sniping. And basically, this is a uh, pretty good class. I, I only use this class on Octane. Occasionally, I'll break this class out on Warhawk, but primarily, it's just used on Octane. Then here, we got the same exact class as this one. You can see the same exact purse, same exact everything. And this is just has the thermal on instead of the reflex. I'll use it sometimes in Octane or some other map. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty much the same exact class. So these are all my classes, guys. Um, you can go through and pause the video. Um, some previous time if you'd like to see a class more in depth and you know obviously like look at all the perks the specialists whatever because this is what I, I use right now and I'm going to be sticking with these fraternities and stuff this is for singles and doubles guys this is not for team ladder I'll be doing a different video on team ladder uh, right after this and I'll be posting that guys probably later today or uh, tomorrow so make sure to look out for that this is the one for singles and doubles which is a lot of, most of my viewers mainly look at my singles games so I, this is what I use for singles guys um, I don't really use the sniper at all on singles, but obviously it's for both singles and doubles. So hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, make sure to give the video a like, and I would greatly appreciate that. That's all for today, guys. And I'll catch you guys.